Hey guys, welcome back to Voice Bootcamp. This is Faisal Khan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create agent, supervisor, and team list. So the tasks that are involved are creating agent, supervisor, team, and then assign the agent and supervisor to the skills group, and of course, assign the agent and supervisor to the respective team. All right, so let's get started. So in my configuration manager, if you click on the agent tab, right under explore tools you can define agents so right now i have two agents created david and Vij vijay mali so i'm going to create two more so let's call this agent one and whatever the password that you want now agent should have an agent id which is if you do not define it manually what's going to happen in the system will automatically generate uh, random numbers but if you want to keep something uniform like you know based on your employee ID or employee number or telephone number then you can define that ID as those uh, not necessarily you need uh, to use the agent ID to log in but some environment they, they allow you to use a login name some environment they allow you to use agent ID so I'm going to create an agent ID 1111 and you can select a person if you have not created so there are a bunch of individuals that I have created as a record you can create your own record let's say uh, if you want to oops took it I took it away agent one okay password let's say voice bootcamp and we'll go ahead and click on save now once the agent one is created I'm gonna make one more agent agent two and save so you notice how in agent one my agent ID is four digit but agent two I forgot to define an agent ID and what happened it randomly generated a number again you can change it if you want to one 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 two all right so I got two agent created I had two from the previous labs now I would like to create assign them to let's say skills group but before I do that I want to make agent two a supervisor so we do that by clicking uh, go to supervisor tab we click on supervisor agent now when you create a supervisor or when you designate an agent who happens to who's going to be supervisor what it does it gives allows you to use a different supervisor name so let's call this agent two and it's going to create a user account based on that in your active directory so let's save So agent has been created in my active directory. You can validate that by going to active directory. You'll see an agent uh, user account name agent two. All right. Now, next step is to define agent to the respective skills group. So I'll go to skills group. I'm going to assign agent one to sales. And I'm going to assign agent two to support. Oh, let's make it sales. In advance, I can choose to use different um, agent desktop. Remember the one we created, AJ, uh, David Smith, specific one. So I can choose uh, agent uh, India agent desk settings, or I can choose choose to keep it default. So let's save. So uh, agents are assigned to skills group. Now I will go back to my configuration manager. Click on list tools, and then click agent team. So right now I have India sales team. And let's go and create another one called sales team. Simple. The peripheral, the call will come from India cluster, agent cluster. The peripheral will be dial, uh, used when user dial 2000, supervisor script. The members of this agent is going to be agent one. VJ Mali, David, that's it. But the supervisor for these two agent, 
agent one and vj molly is going to be either agent two and david both of them are going to be supervisor for these two the primary one is going to be agent one secondary will be david all right so now that i have that part taken care of save save <coughs> Okay, so now let's log in as an agent. Make sure my phones are there. Okay, so if I log in as agent one, password voice bootcamp extension 3101. Okay, so normal agent, as you can see, belongs to QName sales. Remember that is not there's no such thing called CSQ name. That's basically your skills group name. And uh, right now, if I log out and I'm logging as agent two, you'll see the agent two is supervisor has a tag called supervisor agent two extension and his extension uh sorry agent id and you can see that this is a supervisor for these two agent and he belongs to sales team so the team members are listed here as well okay so if you want you can always go back and you say know what okay he belongs to that team um let's go back to my team list Uh, India sales team actually I'm gonna have to change delete that I'm gonna add a new one <coughs> well let's call this support India cluster for all 2000 member just David supervisor is going to be agent 2 the reason why I could not choose uh, let's say I cannot choose like Vijay Mali or agent 1 because they already belong to sales team agent can only belong to one team at this stage all right so now supervisor is agent 2 for both sales and support team so if I log out as a supervisor And uh, log back in. <coughs> You'll see that I should have two team there: sales team and support team. In sales team, I'm managing Agent One and VJ Molly. In a support team, I'm managing David Sp David Smith. So that's basically how you control the agent and their membership, and how agent can. A supervisor can manage multiple team and then control those team from this uh, finance now of course there are some other added functionality that you need to activate in your finance administration which we will do at the end of this series all right so that's pretty much it for this particular lab